test. Test one, two, three. Test. Test. All right, and we are live. So welcome to today's uh, training. If you've gotten to this point, you've likely used Home Advisor at some right, point you in your live. career, and so you have learned that all right, Home Advisor is good for some things, but ultimately, when it comes to the business, it's probably more that you've gotten to this point, you've likely used Home Advisor at some point. No, the problem really arises when we try to grow our business and we're dependent on someone else to do that and we have to pay no matter what and you know the, the results that we get are variable and it ultimately leads to problems in our business because uh, we ultimately go through ebbs and flows of business and like I said it needs to be a predictable scalable option so that's exactly what we're here today for we're going to teach you exactly the way uh, I use uh, different software programs to Completely replicate the way that Home Advisor works. So, without further ado, let's let's dig in. Today, I'm going to teach you how to free yourself from Home Advisor and other lead generation platforms by automating your lead generation process with three simple tools. Now, I did mention Home Advisor, but this this concept applies to all other lead generation platforms. 
really the concept here is once you own your own infrastructure, it doesn't matter where you get the leak from. Once you have the systems in place, you can you can use any given platform, and you could even use these platforms again in the future if you wanted to. But the difference is, is now you have your own unique platform, which you own and which you control, and which you can use to generate business on your terms. So that's exactly what we're going to cover here today. So why is this important to you? One, you can learn to create a simple automated workflow that can save your business ten to thousand dollars a year. Now, ten to thousand dollars is relevant. I mean, it could be thousands, it could be hundreds, it could be hundreds of thousands, and in some case, in some companies' cases, it's millions of dollars. So, really, the point here is we're going to create a simple workflow that is going to free you from the constraints of having to pay every single time that uh, you, you want to get a lead and you want to get new business. And not to mention, those leads may not be the best, and they don't always equate to business. So two, you can build a skill set that, that will set you and your business up for success no matter what the future will bring. Now, this is one of the biggest points I like to, to cover, and really the principle here is we're going through one of the greatest times in the history of the world. And if you don't believe it, just, just study up on this concept. In the last you know decade, even two decades, we have experienced technological growth and revolutionary growth at a faster rate than we've ever seen. And what does that mean to us as business owners in, in the business landscape? It puts us at risk. You know, there's there's companies out there that are coming up every single day that, that pose a threat to us. So it's important that we build a skill set and we, we hedge our bets against the ever-changing uh, landscape by learning new skill sets and not being dependent on other people. Because, hey, home advisor could be gone tomorrow. And then what happens to your business? So like I said, it's important to hedge against those, those factors, and we're going to do that exactly by uh, the training. And third, you can implement the strategy no matter your current skill set or in the immediate future. Now, when I talk about business automation, marketing automation, you know, it, it's a lot of people really get hesitant. So they say, Colin, that's great, but I use Home Advisor for reasons. Because, hey, I don't, I don't really know how to set up these processes. I'm not very tech savvy. Well, the goal here today is to show you that you don't have to have any technical skills to get this done. All right, so a little bit about me. Um, my name is Colin Goodwin, and it's I've had a long road. You know, you see all these pictures. I have uh, no beard, and that's because I was in the military for a lot of these. Um, I'm married to my wife, uh, five years, Bailey. You can see her over here in the uh, far left. That's our wedding there in Colorado, and then we went to uh, Big Arc Stories Rec Band. Uh, Recently moved to Austin, Texas, so that's going to cause some problems. <laughs> but uh, uh, big Razorback fan, big college football fan. I was in the Air Force uh, for 10 years at the Air Force Academy. And uh, then served five years active duty as a civil engineer. Now, that's not all about me. You know, I, I, I've always been an adventurous type. And I, uh, if you're wondering how I got, a guy like me got into the Air Force Academy, it definitely wasn't from brain. I was lucky enough to uh, get a football scholarship and play football. It didn't last very long. I actually only played for two years. Uh, we got a new coach, and they completely revamped the team, and that meant that I was no longer on that team. So uh, I thought my life was over, and I didn't know really what to do. And you can see that middle picture, which is quite wild. I, uh, I'm an adrenaline junkie for sure. I've, I've got a very busy mind. Um, I like to be busy. I like to be big and involved in the time. So... One of my buddies that I played football with actually uh, joined the rodeo team. He was also from Texas, and I, I just decided to go hang out with him one day. You know, we had stopped playing football at the same time. We were in this, you know, interesting transition in our life, and so I went wanted to, you know, join up with him, and, and we went out to the bullpen, and I actually got on a bull. I decided it wasn't for me, but I loved, more than anything, I loved the camaraderie, and I loved being around people. The rodeo crowd is some of the best people you'll ever meet. So I ended up steer wrestling college rodeoing uh, for the for the last three years of my college career, and that's actually where I met my lovely wife Bailey. This picture is actually taken uh, in Philadelphia, and uh, we were at a friend's wedding there not too long ago. So a little bit about me. So with all that said, you might be wondering, what's a guy like me uh, doing teaching you about business automation? Well, that's not the end of the story. You know, when I got out of the Air Force, I always knew that I had 
I, something different about me. There was always something that was bugging me, and that was really what I learned that feeling was. That was my entrepreneurial side and my entrepreneurial vision. So I ended up starting a property management business, and uh, just, just to be frank, it exploded. It went uh, from zero to, to 60 pretty dang quick. And that's because there's a lot of opportunity for disruption in the service industry. You know, I came in with a fresh perspective and really shook things up in our town and was able to get some massive projects. You know, here I am starting this company at 25 years old, fresh out of the military. People are like, who is this guy? And like I said, it got a lot of attention. And uh, so here's, here's some uh, footage as we were growing that business. You know, so the way the way we did this is we started out as property managers and I started building single family homes uh, in my portfolio, not building them, but adding single family homes to my portfolio. And as we grew, like I said, fast, we soon realized that our biggest struggle was maintenance. And you know, I, I told you I had a civil engineer background, and I, so I never really thought that I would be, uh, you know, in the maintenance profession. But soon we kept growing and we kept growing and now we had hundreds and hundreds of properties that we were tasked with upkeeping. So I was, you know, I was, I was calling these contractors and I was calling plumbers, electricians, painters, trying to put all these together. And, you know, I was blown away by what I was getting and the responses that I was getting. You know, it felt like I was taking a step back in, <laughs> in time because the way these people did business and. And so that, that's really a huge part of my story because I became obsessed at this point. I became obsessed with business automation and how to scale a business and grow it and be efficient and, and the whole nine yards. And that's really what took me down that track. So, uh, so we, we kept growing that business. And as, you know, as we started acquiring new maintenance technicians, you know, we, at one point we had 15 maintenance which, you know, is, is a modest size, especially for a town that we were in. And what I soon found is, you know, this was up, up in the, it was in the West, and we were very seasonal. So we would get a ton of work. I mean, in the summer, we would get inundated with workers' West. And then in the winter, everybody would just go into hibernation. So we would go through these massive ebb and flows, and I call it the growth dilemma. You know, when you have that many people, we were, we were faced with staying busy all the time because if you don't, it's extremely expensive. You know, that payroll is, is a big, big deal. And so what we would find ourselves doing is we'd be working, working, working to get all the work knocked out that had been rolled in. We'd knock it all out and we'd say, oh, crap, what are we going to do? And so we'd hurry, 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 we get more work. So I knew that we needed to come up with a way to acquire consistent work on demand uh, well, not really on demand, that's a strong phrase, but it's something I truly believe is possible. But I needed to, to have a predictable workflow. So I started advertising. You know, like I said, we started in the property management realm, and we essentially offer our services exclusively to our, you know, properties. But when we started going through those ebb and flows, I said, we've got this, you know, great resource. And so we actually started, uh, you know, offering our services to several other people, and, it's, it's, and if you're a business owner, you understand this. What you start out doing is definitely likely not what you finish doing. You know, the, you, you're always pivoting, and you're always adjusting to uh, better ways to serve your clients, better ways to serve your customers. So we started uh, marketing, you know, and we, we would do postcards, direct mail, home advisor, door knocking, AdWords, Craigslist. I mean, we did literally everything we could to get new business. And the biggest takeaway from, from all that experience and from thousands and thousands of dollars of advertising spent, uh, I learned that cold leads suck. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, and that's really, when we started sending out postcards, you know, it's very hard to, to say who, who needs our services. Um, and, and when I say cold leads, I'm really referring to free traffic. It's, and, and this is what a lot of businesses rely on, whether you're door knocking, whether you're sending mass postcards. I learned that you know, the conversion rates were extremely low, and I was sending out people to, you know, print postcards. I was paying for the print. I was sending out guys, to, you know, paying eight hours a day for them to knock on doors and get one or two, maybe. So I learned that cold leads suck, so I knew I was on to something, uh, you know, with the paid advertising. So we changed our focus to paid advertising only. I said, you know what, I'm not wasting my time. With the time it takes I, for me to send someone to 
you know, store property for eight hours a day, knocking on doors. I could easily turn around and mass produce um, paid advertising results, results with the white box. So naturally, we were already using Home Advisor. So I said, well, I'm going to go all in on Home Advisor. You know, the leads are coming, and uh, you know, it's it's a great option. You know, 15 to, to 40 bucks a lead, you can't beat that. You know, that's what, that's what I thought in my mind. So things started out well. I mean, they assigned a, you know, we like I said, we, we wanted to do it to a big scale. They, they assigned an account representative with us and just onboarding. And things were peachy. You know, leads started coming in. We started getting jobs right off the bat. So I was stoked about the new work and the new potential. So I bumped up the volume, right? But then everything changed. As soon as I started adding in more dollars to the system and getting more leads, I started to recognize a thing, a few things. Leads suddenly became extremely inconsistent. The leads became non-responsive. I would get these, these phone numbers from from these people and you know they would not even answer the call. And, and now I'm stuck paying for this lead. So as a result, most of these leads became really, really expensive. And you know, this is when I really started to, to dive into marketing and, and started to think about this. And and what I really started comparing it to and what I labeled it as the hope system. Uh, you know, the hope system is, this is a phenomenon that is just mind boggling to me, but I've been there and I understand it. You know, when I, when I think about the hope system, it brings back a ton of emotions because this very system is, this keeps people going for decades. The hope system is essentially, you know, we go to work in the morning and we hope the next job is right around the corner. We hope the new lead is going to come in today. We hope the next big thing is just about to pop up and walk in the door. And like I said, this literally keeps people going for decades. And uh, I knew that just in, in my short amount of time that, and with this many people on my staff, I couldn't rely on the hope system. See, because here, here's what ended up happening. You know, like I said, we had so many people. We would get a new client, uh, but then we would have to use these home advisor leads and so our overhead would go up extensively. We had this stagnant profit, and we were lucky if we weren't at a loss. So it didn't matter. It was a zero-sum growth cycle. No matter how many jobs we took on, the inconsistency was a zero-sum game because we could not predictably scale and grow our business. It's, it's as simple as that. So I went back to the drawing board. I knew there had to be a better way. So here's a discovery that I made. So, in my research, and this is a pretty bold statement, if any Home Advisor fans are watching this, they might get upset that it's the, it's the hard truth. I said, what if I told you that Home Advisor was actually your competitor? And a lot of people have a hard time dealing with that. So here's what I realized. As soon as I realized that I was in the marketing business and I was not in the maintenance business, meaning I had a full-time job of getting new you know, business for my technicians so we could remain profitable, I started to, to, to look into other paid advertisement options, and this is really when I started to expand my horizons, and I started to look, and everywhere I looked, HomeAdvisor was buying ads to compete against me. Now, if you're new to the advertising space, you know, it, it, it's a marketplace where you can bid, it's just like at an auction, you can bid for keywords, you can, I'm referring to Google mainly, you can bid for keywords, and uh, whoever's willing to, to go the furthest wins, you know, whoever's willing to to pay the highest. Now there's some other factors that roll into it, but I was finding myself trying to, you know, compete with with Home Advisor because they were, I mean, they're spending hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars in advertising. I can't compete with that. There's no way in heck that I can pay and say, you know, maintenance in, in this town because Home Advisor has already got me beat. Now, what was the kicker? When when people started even searching our name, Home Advisor ads would pop up. So I knew that I was in trouble because Home Advisor had the vice grip on me. They were cutting me off at the neck because everywhere I tried to go, they were attracting leads to get into their system to come to me anyway. So how do you feel about that? You know, it's my first realization of that. I was pretty shocked, and you know, I understand, Mark. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not angry at Home Advisor. I have no hate against them. It's you know, it's it's capitalism. I get it. I understand it. But I knew for my success and for my business that I had to do something else. So here's what I discovered. Here's the scoop. 
I knew that Home Advisor was not an option now, right? Because they had the vice grip on me. I could not make my business dependent on someone else. But neither was the Hope system. You know, I couldn't go back to what I was doing because, you know, the, like I said, there's so many inconsistencies and so many more problems with that. I mean, like I said, it's a zero sum game either way. So, you know, like I said, we couldn't afford to be out of work. I couldn't do either of those systems. I knew I had to find a way to acquire new work predictably. And this is where my life changed. On demand, when it was needed the most. In order to accomplish this, I knew I needed three things. I need a platform in which I control. I wasn't susceptible to home advisor, I wasn't susceptible to anybody else. Two, I needed a way to stand out from my competitors. And three, I needed something in which I could scale. You know, like home advisor, you can pump in more money, you can you can up your spin limits, you can change your services. I needed the same functionality in my business, but I need the other two pieces to make the puzzle work. And that is exactly what I'm going to teach you what I did today. But first, let's let's lay a few ground rules. So this, what I'm going to teach you today definitely works. It's been proven in practice, but I, I want you to know up front, there's no get-rich-quick trick scheme. You know, this this business that we're in, and, and trust me, I, I don't even know if they exist, to be honest. Um, you know, a lot of people claim they do, and that's why they have so such a bad rap. They don't exist, okay? And two, this is no magic bullet. There's going to be, you know, paid advertising is still going to be a part of the equation. You know, in order to get off the hook system, we have to be able to predictably scale our business. But, and before I move on, I mean, there, there's no magic bullet. There is risk with any time that you do paid advertising, you're risking your money for a return. But there's a way to measure it, and there's a way to ensure that you're doing it properly. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. No black hat tactics. Everything I'm going to show you today is, you know, on the up and up. It's, uh, you know, it's well practiced. It's something that you can be proud of, and it's something that, you could, you could rest your hat on and tell your family that you do it at the end of the day. So uh, by no means am I going to teach you anything bad that uh, you have to be ashamed of. So that's the ground rule. And lastly, my results are typical. I've been doing this for many years. And to, to be quite honest, I'm obsessed with this, this topic. I, I study it 12 to 18 hours a day, and I work on this constantly. So I, I've shared with you some results. I just want you to know those aren't typical. It's going to take hard work, like I said. And and if I can get you, if I can show you the pathway, but it, it you will succeed as well. So, and the reason I say that is results aren't typical. If you're looking for a get quick, get rich quick routine or a magic bullet, hey, this is not for you. Okay, so how, how do you know if this is for you? Okay, if you're tired of wasting your money on bad leads and you want to fill your platform full of actual business prospects, then this is for you. If you're ready to rid of the hope system and build a predictable, scalable business on your terms, then this is for you. Third, if you would like to build a skill set that you that will help you hedge against the uncertainty, the uncertain and disruptive business landscape of the future, then this is for you. So without further ado, we've laid the ground, ground rules. You've determined if this training is for you. Let's get started. Step one. So the first step in this is going to be a lead capture system, and this is what Home Advisor really is. So they, they have two different steps. They've got the lead generation, and then they've got the lead capture. So the lead generation is the paid advertising portion that I was talking about earlier, in which they go out and they pay for advertising. They, they attract people who are looking for home services, and then they capture their information. So one of the first things that people used to do when they when they uh, you know try to acquire business through paid advertising is they start advertising. They start spending money. And... Uh, well, you know, that's that's fine with me because I love it because that's what I call the super tax. If you don't have a great lead capture system set up in place, you're doing it all wrong. So if you get on Facebook, you look at all these people that are marketing, hey, we'll, we'll do a Facebook ad for you. Hey, we'll do this for you. We'll do that for you. And the problem is, is you can pay as much advertising as you want. But if you don't have the right systems in place to capture those leads and really attract that person, though, I, I call it the connection. Once that person lands on your page, they've got to know they're in the right place. they got to know you're a trustworthy company. There's several ways to do that. And so the stupid tax is what I call it. When people just start paying advertising and send them either to just their website, which if that's you, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to offend you. But, yeah, that's definitely the stupid tax in our industry. You've got to have a very targeted message to let your, your potential client know that you're in the right place, that they're in the right place. 
so I, I needed a way to do this, and I and I am before I go into this, I want to say that I'm a huge fan of websites. I think I you know without a doubt, my website and my business has been one of the factors that has set me apart from day one. It's been my unfair advantage when I walk into a market and people uh, know that other companies are established. I can walk in as a brand new person, throw up a stellar website, a stellar presentation, and it just adds a little bit of credibility, it adds a little bit of trust to get my foot in the door just to talk to people, and I know when I can talk to them, I can land a deal. So before I go any further, I want to say I'm a huge fan of websites, but the problem with websites is that, uh, you know, they take a long time. <laughs> Either a long time to build, they're costly to build, or even once you have it built, you know, if you're relying on organic search and search engine optimization, hey, you're in trouble because you're going to be waiting quite some time, and uh, that's not going to keep the lights on. So there's diet. So when I started out on this, you know, we were relatively new when we started, so I knew I had to find a way to get that done. And you know, if if you've seen late night infomercials, if you've seen paid advertisements online, one of the one of the most interesting things, and one thing that I'm extremely fascinated, I think Google's in trouble, and and, and Google realizes this, and that's another reason um, that. You know, Home Advisor could be a problem, and really any system that you rely on could be a problem in the future. But what I'm talking about is this revolution and, you know, this build out of Facebook had, and Instagram and all these social media platforms have given people the ability to target direct, which is called direct response marketing. Being this person, you know, your, your potential client is not having to go to Google and say, oh, let's look at reviews. No, they can say, hey, I need this service. Wow, this service is offered right here. Let me click on this link. And what they end up doing is landing on a landing page that's very targeted. So one of the greatest tools to make this happen is a tool that I call ClickFunnels. And uh, it's obviously my animation's taking it away. Now, so this is the first step in the process, like I said, this, this ClickFunnels piece. And, and the, like I said, before I go any further, I am not advocating any individual platform. What I'm showing you, I mean, this can be duplicated. There's tons and tons of software out there. But I'm showing you the ones that I use and that I prefer to use, and I have used most of the software. But my goal today is to show you how to get rid of home advisor. By the time you leave this training, I want you to know the exact actionable steps so you can move away from home advisor. And that first step is being that lead capture, and that's that's through home advisor. Sorry, and that's through ClickFunnels. And uh, two, now that you've got your landing page set up, right? Once you've got your lead capture system in place, you need to, to build a pipeline. And uh, that's through marketing automation. One of the biggest problems that I found with some advisor when I was using it is I would, I would work it and they would send me leads and, and I wouldn't get to them. And by the time I would call them and, you know, there would be three other people that have called them. So not only that, it was a cold lead. Like I said, cold leads are terrible. And by the time I, I got on the phone with them, it was, a, it was a rat race to the bottom, see who could get you most. But right, it just wasn't something I, I liked. It wasn't something I was comfortable with. So so when I started getting these landing pages and I started you know, getting clients to come to my lead capture site, which is ClickFunnels, what I would start doing is synchronizing it with an, a marketing automation platform so that they would get responses immediately. I Meaning if they went to my website and they said, hey, I'm interested in this service, boom, they would get an email from me. It wasn't a robot. I mean, it, it was a robot, but it, it came across as me. I actually wrote the email and it said, hey, you know, hey, Betty, thanks for inquiring about our services. We would love to set up a time to talk to you about it. If you'd like to set up a free consultation, go here. If you'd like to do this, it, there's a call to action involved. And, and regardless, Gave them links. You know, if you'd like to learn more about our company, if you'd like to learn more about our service, click click here. So they would click on these links, and by the time I got on the phone with them, they already knew a ton about my company. You know, I was able to send them my sales pitch pretty much in an email and a text, um, in, with a link that said, "Hey, check this out." And you know, they're on the computer, they're ready to go. So that instantaneous, you know, that on-demand reaction, they they were open. They're like, "Wow, that was really fast." And I've got some strategies and tactics. That I'll show you later um, that really, really helped enhance that. But you know, by the time I got on the phone with them, they were warmed up. They were ready to go, and I would say, "Hey, do you have any questions?" No. Nope. When, when can we get started? And how much? You know, how much do you cost? So it, it was really, really easy to land these leads, and I started saying, "Wow, 
this, this is something. You know, as compared to Home Advisor, where I was calling them and I have to give them a spiel about my company, I have to give them a spiel about my background, I give them a spiel about what we offer. You know, this did it all for me. So now I was able to go out and capture the leads and then have my system warm it up while I was working. So it was like having two needs at any given time. This is really a lot more than that. Because, uh, you know, as, as volume starts coming in, you can really start to beat things up. And, and let me just say that, you know, right here too. This is not something you build overnight. I mean, this is something you can start out very simply and uh, build over time. And you can see people's responses. If you're getting similar responses, you can tweak it and change it. But, but this is something that's very powerful. Now, this is something I struggled with, to be honest, at first. I started with some, uh, some marketing automation platforms, and this is one of the most confusing things out there if you ask me you go to search marketing automation you're going to find five million results and you're not going to know which one to click which one to use which one's best for your market so i'm going to cut through the noise i'm saving you know at least five years of trouble right here and pay um you know the reason we do this like i said remember is cold leads suck so we want to warm them up the tool that i use and that i have found that is just remarkable in this is a tool called active campaign so up to this point you've seen that i've got a ClickFunnels account, I've got an active camp campaign account, so my ClickFunnels captures the lead, I don't even need a website, I can build everything right there, it's, it's super, super easy. Now I've got this active campaign, the reason I'm recommending both of these tools, there are other tools out there, but I can tell you, these two are extremely easy. So what I'm giving to you, don't take it lightly. I have done tons of testing, there's, there's, other, I mean, there's other software that are quote unquote could be more powerful, but why do you need a more powerful solution if you're not you're not even gonna use the features? This these features are the you know the best bang for your buck and I can guarantee that. So hopefully I just saved you about five years of, of struggles and uh, with uh, with a couple clicks I'm gonna show you how to to replicate the entire functionality of home advisor. Now step three turn on the jet fuel and that's the lead generation. Remember the stupid tax that I was talking about earlier. Now, the stupid tax is when people were sending leads to their website, cold traffic, and now that you know better, you know that if you have a great lead generation system, you've got a, a great marketing automation system to follow up with them and sell your product for you, you know exactly what to do. You know, you, your clients are ready to go. So, paid advertising, now you have options. Now, one thing that I will say is this. Once you get the system in place, it, you don't necessarily have to do paid advertising. You can do prospecting. You can put, you know, your 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 sales funnel on your business card. There's a million ways, you know, to to get to the bottom of it. But here's the beauty of it. I mean, I, without a doubt, paid advertising is the most scalable option. And with these tools, you're going to have specific metrics like you've never had before in your business. You're going to know exactly how much money you spent to acquire a customer and how much money. Um, that you spent to advertise to that customer, and if you know your your customer acquisition cost is less than the value of the customer, then you're profitable, right? I mean, you, you just got it. You have to do those calculations. You got to know those numbers. These tools will ena enable you to do it. So here's how it works. What if I told you, in less than seven days, you could build your own pipeline, attract the right customers, and turn your business on autopilot using these. Now, if you're going, if you're saying, Colin, I don't know how to do that, I, you know, you, you've just given me a very, very broad overview. Um, I promise you there's more than enough free information out there right now, and I will even send this to you after this webinar. I, I want you to know that just by me giving you those, those three tools, that you have the capability to go out and, and replicate the exact function. It's going to take a little bit of research. It's going to take some time, right? But if you don't want to do that, I have another option for you. Introducing Lead Driver. It's the step-by-step -step guide to building a predictable and scalable acquisition pipeline. So here's what we're going to cover. I'm, I'm going to teach you. This is going to be a detailed guide. It's going to be an introduction to marketing automation. I'm going to teach you the principles. I'm going to teach you the why. I'm going to teach you what people are attracted to, how you can do it, what to say, right? I'm going to talk, about, talk to you about the lead capture strategy and development. I'm going to teach you how to use ClickFunnels. I'm going to teach you how to set up marketing campaigns. I'm going to teach you how to how to do everything from square one. 
Next, the marketing automation strategy and development. So now we can, now we bring in active campaigns. So I'm going to show you click by click. Literally, you're going to see my screen setting up the exact marketing automation campaigns that we've used in our businesses and many other businesses at this point. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So if you're saying, Colin, I have no technical skills. I don't know exactly what to do. You don't need any of it, right? You're going to watch me do it for you. I'm going to show you click by click how to implement, how to integrate these, and, and it's magic. Next is lead generation strategy and development. This is where it gets super powerful, guys. Once you have this system in place, you now have the capability to turn on the jet fuel, like I said. I'm going to teach you how to use the number one the number one platform that I believe right now is the most underpriced marketing platform that has ever existed, and that's Facebook ads. I know you've heard it. I know people tout it all the time, and you say, Colin, I, I don't know how to use that. Good news. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. And the best part, I'm going to show you how we use it in the service industry because it's wildly different than selling products. It's wildly different than selling anything else. I'm going to teach you how to target the customers that you deserve and the customers that will bring your business pleasure. And last, you know, the most valuable part of this, I'm going to show you, like I said, the step-by-step, click-by-click. You're not even going to have to think. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So you, you saw how much I would charge for these individually. So let me ask you this. You know, this adds up it, it roughly to about, about 600 bucks. So let me ask you this. $600. Would it be worth it to you? How many is that? Is that, what, roughly 30 home advisor leads? It, can you imagine how fast you go through 30 home advisor leads? Now, now that's... That's the beauty of it, but I'm, you know, I'm not here today to, to mark this up and make it, you know, huge profit. There's, there's a ton of incentive for me to sell all this as a package to you today. I want you to be successful. I want you to take these tools. So as a special offer, and since you stayed this long, I'm actually going to offer this to you for 397. Can you believe that? Is that not the best thing you've ever heard? So literally now for the cost of just one key, one key. Home advisor leads. Think about that. I mean, this gets me so excited. Think about how fast and how you know you can burn through 20 home advisor leads, and I'm going to show you for the same exact cost and even less because you're not going to waste your time. Um, I'm going to show you how to replicate the functionality of the leads you own and change your business forever. But that's not all, okay, guys. I you know, like you said, you're not like like I said earlier. You don't have to be a technical wizard to do it. And I want you to get off the ground running. Remember, I told you I'm going to show you how to do this in seven days or less. So for those of you who have purchased today, and let me say this, this is not available anywhere. You can go to my website, Scour, this is not available anywhere else. For those of you who have purchased today, I'm going to give away three sales funnels from ClickFunnels that I use specifically for the service industry. You know, that is one of the most exciting things. Literally, I can plug this into your system. And you can start running traffic to your business today using the strategies that we cover. So there's no rock left unturned. I'm going to show you what to put it. I'm actually going to give you the information you need to put in the system. Then I'm going to show you how to turn the automation on. I'm going to show you how to start running paid advertising at a profitable scale to these sales funnels. So let's cover that again. <coughs> I've got the introduction of marketing automation. I've got the lead capture strategy. I've got the marketing automation strategy. I've got the lead, lead gen strategy. I've got the step-by-step -step implementation. And then I'm giving away three play funnel templates. Now, this is on the low end. I, would, I, sell, I, I literally do. I sell these to people for $197 each. And that's on the low end. That's for customers that have been with me for a long time. So you can see now that the value is well off uh, above $900. And it, it's, it's skyrocketing at this point. So, like I said, $397. I'm not going to change the price. $397 for all those tools plus three sales funnels. But it gets even better. Because you're here today, and it's like I said, this is the one time I need to get your business pumping. I know if you succeed, I will succeed. So, I'm not going to give it to you for $597. Like I said, I'm not going to give it to you for $397. Just because you're here today, I'm going to give it to you for $197. Literally, that's stealing, that's theft. I mean, that's that, there's so much value that's going to be packed into this, 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 this training session that I'm going to give you all the tools you need to, to, to take Home Advisor and all these other you know, systems that are costing you tons of money, tons of time.
They're helping making you rely on the hope system that are ultimately driving your business down. I'm going to give you all these systems for the cost of $197. Regardless, if you decide to buy today or not, you are you waited this long, I told you I'm going to give you a free gift. So since you stayed this long, I'm going to actually give you a free click funnel account or click funnel uh, product, regardless if you buy today or not. So what that means, if you do buy, you actually get four. So that's a that's well over a $1,200 value that I'm going to give today, just for 197 bucks. If you're ready to purchase this and you're ready to move this on, I am going to, I'm, over the next week, I am going to be actually coaching, and this is this is an exclusive offer, I mean literally in the future this is going to be a recorded system, this is live right now, and uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a handful of business owners and I'm going to walk them through this process, coaching me one by one. So not only will you have access to the learning platform, you're going to have access to me. We're going to schedule a time to talk about this stuff. We're going to schedule a time to make sure it's implemented correctly in your business. And I'm going to do it day by day by day by day. That way you're not overwhelmed. We're going to do it at your pace. If you need more time, you need more time. That's fine. So go ahead. If you're ready to make this happen, go ahead and click on the link below. I'm going to get you set up with all this. Literally, you're one click away from changing all this. Don't waste another dollar on Home Advisor. Don't waste another dollar on the Hope System. Don't waste another dollar on inefficiency. Take action. You know, just by simply taking action, you're going to set yourself apart from your competitors and you're going to stand out in your market. And let me ask you this. I mean, when it comes to paid advertising platforms, if everybody can do it, then who's going to stand out? Right? I'll just leave you with that. Guys, it's been, it's been a uh, pleasure speaking with you today. I look forward to working with you on this, and I look forward to building out your systems.